Hello. In this video, I'm going to give a quick demonstration as to how to do the two slit experiment in your own room. So um, we're going to need two narrow, closely slit based slits uh, in which, through which we pass light. The light can interfere through the two different slits and hit some screen where we can measure the interference pattern and therefore uh, deduce properties of wave superposition and so on. So uh, for the screen that we're going to hit into to measure the pattern, we can just use the wall, that'll be fine. So there's um, a webcam focused on the wall. The, for the divider between the two slits, that's the tricky bit because we need something extremely thin. Uh, but we have lots of extremely thin things coming out of our heads, there are hairs. So uh, what I have here is um, a bit of card where I've taped a hair across it. So the, there's, a, there's a slit I've cut with some scissors, but that's just to cut the amount of light passing through down, so it's not too intense. And uh, stuck vertically across that, you can see the bit of uh, duct tape where I've used it to tape across here. There's a, a hair vertic going vertically like this. So if I shine the laser through, uh, through that um, slit, I'll get, so I'm just gonna use this uh, green laser here, which has a wavelength of 568 nanometers, which is quite nice and bright, so it's uh, convenient for this. So you can see the color there. Okay, so if I shine it through, uh, through the slit at a location where, um, where there's no hair, You'll just see a spot on the wall. I turn the exposure right down on the on the camera, but there you see when it hits the hair, you see that pattern picks up. There we go, just there. I'm using a pack of cards to get the height just right to, to line up with this slit. There we go. There we go. And uh, it's convenient to remove that central spot, which isn't really contributing to the pattern. To do that, uh, you can use something like this. This is just a, a block of ink for calligraphy, but something dark and quite thin. And we can place that in the way of the central spot. And then if I just tune it back onto the hair again, there we go. So now we get the pattern without the central, um, uh, central spot. And actually you can measure the, uh, if you know the distance to the wall, which you measure with a ruler, and you can measure the spacing between these uh, different peaks, which you can see here, which I, I estimate to be something like around four millimeters, the distance to the wall is about 40 centimeters. Um, you can use, uh, use this to deduce the width of the hair. And I think mine's probably about something like a hundred times the, um, uh, uh, the wavelength of the light. I estimate, uh, and so that would make it about um, uh, 50 or so um, micrometers would be the width of this hair, and that seems to tally with what we expect. Okay, thank you for your time.